Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we're here with Panzercore. The series is making a long overdue comeback to the channel. I'm pretty excited, and this game has changed a lot since I last played. Um, the developers, Slytherin, have kindly provided me with a complete version of the game. So we've got tons of different campaigns, we've got an allied campaign, we've got the grand campaign, which is where we're going to be going today and where we'll be going to in the future as well. So let's open up the classified documents. Now the grand campaign, uh, each sort of um, invasion or each campaign is, you know, maybe a little bit shorter. Well, it's probably a lot shorter than the main Panzer Corps Grand Campaign, but it's certainly a lot longer. For instance, the Campaign of 39 is just the invasion of Poland, which was like, what, one, maybe two missions in Panzer Corps? I think it was just one, though. So, and then they got one for 40, 41, 42, and you can transfer your armies over per each uh, grand campaign so you can be like you know you can have your forces here and then continue them on through the theoretical entire course of the war including like you know German victories all over the place uh, so that's the future that's that's what we're that's what I would like to do um, you know coming up as sort of a main Panzer Corps series but let's be honest pretty rusty with this game and I've got you know, I'm used to um, Order of Battle Pacific when it comes to hex-based military games now, so we got we got to brush some uh, some rust off. So we are gonna do, as I just clicked through it while I was rambling, Operation Sea Lion, um, because I think really that was the turning point in my initial Panzer Corps II campaign, where we didn't. I mean, we we beat Britain. We had German troops in London. But it wasn't within the time constraints, so it didn't technically work out as I had hoped. Uh, I'm hoping that this can make up for that. You know, that <laughs> that makes sense to me. Take a seat, Herr General. Care for a glass of Bordeaux wine? It came, uh, well, into my possession yesterday. On duty, you say? Oh, well, we can drink this French delight after the briefing. I know, General, the barrels of your panzers are barely cold. And once again, we call upon you to coordinate three simultaneous amphibious landings on the British Channel Islands. Time is of the essence, as the three task forces must work independently and cannot come to the aid of one another. This operation should be simple thanks to the intelligence provided by Hauptmann Liebe Peter Itz. A recon pilot. His mission revealed that British planes have vacated the area and that there is no significant military presence. High Command is aware that after the Battle of France, many of your panzers, many of your panzers, require repairs, and their crews deserve a break. Therefore, <clears throat> and I am certain you will agree, fielding tanks for the duration of this mission is out of the question. Let's raise our glasses to the success of this operation, Herr General. All right, so we will proceed. And we're starting off fresh, so let's do this. Remember, Herr General, you cannot deploy any panzers among the other in forces invading those islands. The only area where you can deploy panzers is in the lower right corner of the map. This area has been marked as Panzer Resting Area. Three JU-52s are at your disposal as well. Every division that was participating in the Battle of France suffered casualties, therefore any supplies, any surplus prestige will be distributed among those divisions. This means that the amount of prestige will be reset at turn two. Okay, well, I don't think we need to really worry about prestige getting reset, because we're just jumping in on this uh, right now as it is. So let's take a look. <clears throat> we have... Obviously an amphibious invasion going on here. We got some paratrooper. No, that is definitely not a paratrooper. Those are definitely units there. All right, so, and panzers that we can't use. Right. Well, that's just a tease, isn't it? Uh, I have not played through this mission, so I have no idea what we're going to be facing. Uh, let's see. That way we have no prestige. So, let's... Uh, Let's get started. I'm guessing this is deployment, so we can go ahead and safely... Right? Can I? Oh no, we should. Should definitely move these forces. That was a bomber! So, yeah. No wonder it's not a paratrooper. 
I'll get the rust off. Trust me. Uh, honestly, it looks like this is going to be... Come on. Oh, wait. There we go. <clears throat> and we'll get you there. And this looks like a good enough spot to make a landing. Uh, we'll get our Schnell boats up. Do a little recon. Oh, what do we got there? A little enemy destroyer. I don't think so, sir. Now, what else we got going on? Uh, I'm concerned. Are, do these bombers need to come home for fuel? Like, is that... That would seem weird to deploy them like that. Anyway, uh... Let's get our paratroopers in. And we might as well use our bombers to try and clean up. Oh, I guess that's just because we don't have any airfield secured yet. Gotcha. <clears throat> and yeah, let's let's bomb some of those guys. And see if we can't just sort of get a little bit more vision on that island there. Alright, so that takes care of that group. Let's head over and check out this other massive invasion force. Um, honestly, I think we will want to drop the Falschmjägers right there to capture that airport. And what else have we got? We got some Stugas. Might as well get you to soften up the airport. Push our air forces inland just a little bit. Nothing too much. Uh, okay. I probably should have used those airplanes on the destroyer. I'm sure these little guys will be fine though. And indeed, they are. Perfect. So then we can use those guys to sink those transports. And that looks like, right away, that's an objective city. Ah, so, we would probably, I mean, I guess we just want to bum rush the harbor. That seems like a good idea. And really, when is a bum rush not warranted? All right, and then up in here, we've got, ooh, incoming heavy artillery. We cannot land there. So that solves that problem. We are going to be starting off at this end of the island. And we're probably going to want to move those guys along pretty quickly to get that um, airport sooner than later. But at least we've got two ME-110s there for support. And next unit, what do we got? All these tanks. And that's it, next turn. Ooh, oh, okay. Maybe that's why we don't want to bum rush the harbor. Let's focus in on, you know, a slightly more successful area. First, oh, come on. I should remember to uh, turn on two button mice moving things. Uh, that would be helpful. Uh, let's take you and go like that. Uh, that any aircraft certainly does spook me a little bit. And we'll move you over. I want to, well, no, we'll get you guys moved up and then drop. That'll be the best. Uh, it doesn't look like the RAF has much in the way of fighters protecting their land, so that's good. Uh, what else? We, well, you know what? Let's just do some strafing runs onto a supply dump. And, okay. We'll, oh, there's another supply dump up there. Eh, yeah, let's bomb that artillery. We can leave those planes uh, stationed there. Oops, come on, there we go. 
Oh, come on, really? That's just mean. Especially with the destroyer coming. Stay, you know, alive, transport. That's the... Uh, and like so. Yeah, that's pretty good. And let's take our first airfield. There we go, Channel Island first airport secure. Uh, I'm thinking it might be a good idea to get my guys off the beach as quick as possible here. Well, we only, we, we got 10 turns left, so. Ugh, all right, bomb rush the harbor. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really care about transports. And now we can just get our boats in. Take care of all the freighters. And let's see. Well, we can definitely do with some more scouting. Some more supply depots, some more heavy guns, and oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Oh, these guys just need to move, huh? Okay, well, we'll move you there. We'll move you there just to get some movement done. Um, think we'll move you back. Probably should have dropped you on the airfield, but that's okay. And that's it. Come on, really, armored car? Yeah, oh, that is surprising. I would have expected um, destroyers to do far more damage to freighters. But now I know. We don't really need to worry about that necessarily. So let's drop you guys off and let's get you guys... Oh, that is, again, me being dumb. Pay no attention. Uh, no, well, yeah, we'll move you forward because we'll just keep shooting that, basically. Uh, and I guess we might as well... You know, attack that destroyer, although I don't think we'll be facing too much of a naval threat. And we can start getting our troops on the ground. Wonderful. I really should look at the units I'm dropping off. I'm not against having a flat cannon, but, you know, I would have preferred maybe some some infantry first. That, that probably would have been best. Uh, let's get you guys out there. At least you're close to being what I'm looking for. Although, really, at this stage, it's more about just getting them off the boats. We'll take that. Maybe a little bit of suppression? Nope, that's okay. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep bombing those guys. And then we can position our Falschermjägers so we can defend. Have we got anything else coming from up here? Either of these locations. Not really. All the tanks don't need to worry about. Kill you guys. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's start hitting as many different targets as we can. You know, never concentrate your firepower, that would be ridiculous. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, what have you got? Grenadiers, away you go. Uh, honestly, I don't think that's too bad, because it's armored, right? So... No, we'll leave you there. And what are you? You're a flat gun. Okay, well, we can definitely keep you in behind. Tomatoes. Go get some tomatoes. Falsham Jaegers. 
And we'll bomb them too. And yeesh. Are we really running that low on fuel? I don't think we are. But we'll still keep these guys sort of in the south. Just to keep that safe. Uh, no, we will not be doing that. Alright, next turn. Okay, so maybe that wasn't as safe of a move as I thought it would be. My god. <clears throat> this landing force up in the north here is just, just a mess. Alright, well we got some boat people, so that's a good sign. Uh, we'll move the aircraft, anti-aircraft gun out. Oh, perfect, yeah, let's move you there. <clears throat> Get you off, okay, that'll, that'll be fine. Uh, you, yeah. And Stuka could finish it? Ah, oh, come on, Stuka should have finished it. Uh, okay, well, I don't think there's much of a point in hitting those guys. So we'll just leave the boats there. And that is pretty much it for this area, right? Yep. Okay, let's go to this island instead. <clears throat> oh no. Hit that artillery again. There we go. That made up for it. Uh, do we, I don't necessarily think attacking those supplies are going to be the best course of action. We might as well just go straight for the objective. Um, so we'll move you down and we'll just finish off the artillery. Perfect. And I guess, well, I guess you guys can finish off the supplies. And then shift that away. And that should be good for that island. So now just this one down here. <clears throat> and we'll get a little bomb and run in. And get you out and we'll get another little bomb and run in. Well, we're at it, let's get our Messerschmitts to just strafe these tomato trucks. Why not? And... Come on. We will... Secure that airfield. Yay! Oh, come on, not even one hit. Well, he retreated at least, so that's fine. Yeah, these guys are still good to fight. So let's finish off the... Oh, come on. Boo. Uh, we will move the flak gun up and the artillery up as well. Okay. What to do with you? Well, thank you for a tour around the island. Um, and then it's just tanks. <clears throat> Alright, well we should be able to finish off that little APC thingy. We'll snag that town next turn. Or this turn. Will you capture that? Yay, you will! And we can keep moving too. So we'll move you back around. And yeah, we're not going to worry about the Chanel boats doing any damage there. And I think that's it. Nice defense. Alright. Let's go. 
Uh, first off, let's do this smartly. And we'll get you to go for the airfield. But we are going to focus on... Wow. The, uh, the objective first. And we'll have no problem securing that objective and the airfield next turn. Wonderful. First island captured. Now, we need to get this, but most of my units are over here. That is pretty not advantageous to me. A lot of these units have also taken a heck of a lot of damage. Thankfully, we're really just up against things like cannons or, you know, big defensive installations and not really any sort of infantry threat. Other than the Bren Gunners, of course, but, you know, we'll deal with those guys in due time. Uh, that's what I was looking for. So, if we take you, we have quite a lot of prestige. That is gonna really... That's gonna take a fifth of my prestige to get you up there, though. Mmm, okay. <laughs> and it begins! Uh, you guys should also... Take some replacements as well. And we'll get you to an airfield soon, don't you worry about that. <sighs> I want to take out that flat gun before I start getting my Stuka all used up. And hitting those forts is going to be a pain with them as well. Uh, okay. All the tanks. Keep going for your sail around the island. Hmm. We'll go for the infantry. Because we will use the 23rd Grenadiers. Oh, come on. Rugged defense. BS. BS. Uh, yeah. We'll do that. At least we got those guys retreating. And now, we'll just use our fighters to keep following these trucks. I have no idea if it's useful to do so or not, but I remember that mission in Panzer, or not Panzer Corps, uh, Order of Battle Pacific. You gotta kill all the trucks. Uh, let's get that big guy up there. And really, we should probably use our airborne troops to take that fortress there. Um, we'll move you guys up so you can support. And I think that's it. Alright, next turn. Okay, well, <clears throat> we'll start with the airborne assault, which was perfect. Absolute, they didn't even take any losses. Why can't you be my core troops? Uh, we'll hammer those guys again, and we should be able to take them out with the uh, 26th Pioneers. Go! Yes, they can capture the port of St. Peter. So that's good news for them. We have a nice good hurt on that anti-aircraft gun. And I think we'll continue to harass the armored car. Oh, they're not moving that time. They're sick of our games. Uh, we should probably... I think it was there, right? Yes! Yeah. All right. Well, we got the south of the island pretty much secure. And we should probably have you refuel. Poor trucks drove into a swamp to try and avoid us. That is not smart maneuvering. Uh, right. Okay. Well, let's get you out there. 
You can capture Saint Anne and... Hold on, though. There we go. I should have done that in the reverse order. That's okay. All right, that island secure. Uh, let's see here. We should really... That's expensive, but we'll take it. Mainly because I want well-trained artillery that's good. With judicial use of our boat people here, we might be able... Uh, almost got the anti-aircraft gun knocked out. Next time. Oh, you guys need to resupply, don't you? Okay, there you go. Have some bullets. Uh, that's pretty much it for over here. We'll get you back so you can refuel. And... We'll top up the tanks and the Stukas as well. Because I think they'll be useful there next turn. I think that's it. Next turn it is. Yeah, rugged defense. Those boat people are dug in. Although, really, that's not <laughs> where they should be fighting. But, you know, that's okay. We'll take that. Uh, oh, you're just, you guys are just wasting money on refilling those trucks. Which makes me think they are incredibly vital to their war operations. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll get you guys resupplied, apparently not refitted. Uh, we'll move you up, because now we can take our choice. And maybe finish him off? Hey! hey. Alright, drop your bombs. And go over here. Then you can come back and drop your bombs. And then that artillery shouldn't be a problem ever again. Uh, what to do up here? Basically dig in, relax, we're done. Uh, we'll send you there to resupply. And then that's basically it. For those guys, anyway. Are there any other objectives on this island? Those two. Mm, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. So we will uh, just leave you guys there. Not a very offensive unit. All right. Well, there goes the anti-aircraft, which means we can now get the Stuka in to try and soften those guys up. And then we can give them a hit with the boat people. And then get the boat people out of the way. And probably move in with the 16th to finish those guys off. And then can we bunny hop this? We can! Ah oh, yeah, into the objective. Get our artillery moved up. Nothing. We hit some dirt that time, that's good. And then... A nice little hammering. Although we took a fair amount of hammering in return. And... what to do with the fighters? Yes, that's pretty much it. Really. Um... Have you guys move up. But it feels like at this stage it's just a matter of sweeping in to finish with those guns getting very annoying. All right. <clears throat> uh, move you up. And that's really not all that helpful. We'll take it. Then we can get you moved out the way. And you back up there. To finish it. Yay, okay. That makes my life a heck of a lot easier. Let's 
go and start focusing in on that cannon there. And then we will take the pioneers to a s oh you bastards. Okay. This has become a two-step process now. Uh, we'll capture the town. We'll get you guys refitted. And then we're good to make the second push up there. Yeah. Right? All right. That's taken care of. <clears throat> Let's get this push done. Boo. Alright, we got this. We got this. There we go. See? Told you we got it. And then we'll slide you there, capture that, and get the Stuka moving up on those guys. Where we can advance them and get our boat people rested. There we go. Uh, let's move the artillery up too. Because why not? And... That's it. If these tomato trucks can recapture land, I will be frustrated to no end. Well, let's get you guys. Maybe I should should have got them back on planes. Uh, I don't know. Nothing. At least that was a nice effective bombing run. <clears throat> uh, okay, so the resupplies. Uh, well, you can attack them. And then pretty much everyone else needs to resupply. And then we can push on that town. Hopefully quickly. Uh, let's get you moving at least sort of in the right direction. Those guys are done. And now we'll use our boat people to capture that. Meanwhile, drive everybody else up here. And get you on the hill. Are you in range? Boo! Uh, Alright, well, then maybe there you will be. Yes. And, hey, can we capture? No, go back! Ah, uh, boo! Uh, okay, that takes care of that. We might as well just move the any air gun into town for now, where it'll be theoretically safer. Get you moving up, so we can get a cycle on the artillery. Alright. What do we got? Two turns left? We got this. Those paratroopers, nigh indestructible. Get you moving. Ah, oh, yeah. How's that looking? All right. I could have been a bit more aggressive. That is true. But, I'm sure we'll be okay. And I'm confident we'll take this in two turns. Alright, Stuka, you can withdraw yourself for now. Objective secured. Brits dead. Alright. Well, that'll probably be a fort, right? Yeah. So we'll pull back. Because we've basically got this island secure now. Although I guess we could probably farm some prestige. Taking care of all of them. The main focus, though, is going to be, you know, making sure we actually complete the mission.
Uh, oh, nope, this one. This top island. Uh, right, let's, well, let's just start hammering those guys, basically. Um, wow, not at all what I wanted to do. I wanted to select you and bomb. And then get you out of there. And then take you and bomb. But critically, I also wanted to get you back to the airfield. So I don't want to lose any planes. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, if we go like that. And then we take you guys like that. Then we should be able to take these pioneers and do that. Perfect. All right. And then, yeah, up here we could... We'll just get that Stuka back again so we don't lose it. I mean, we might as well get ourselves into a position where we can... strike out. Uh, you need supplies. Against that fort there. We'll have that taken next turn. Bomb them. And the 23rd Grenadiers get to take St. Samson. There we go. That should be all of the objectives secured. Right? Should be. All right. I guess I could have probably retreated that unit. A decisive victory. Outstanding, Herr General. The whole operation went smooth as silk. Positions were quickly consolidated by your forces. Communications and anti-aircraft defenses were established. Garrison troops will relieve your men upon confirmation of the new operational orders. The next assignment for your forces involves the protection of ports and airfields. A rather easy task compared to the ones in store for the Lufafa. Good morning, Herr General. Why the long face? Oh, of course. French food is not really your favorite, is it? Or is it the fact that the Luftwaffe is leading the upcoming operation? I should have known! Despite protests of the Wehrmacht top brass, High Command's decision is final. The Luftwaffe must prevent the enemy from attacking the invasion fleet. The highly important mission is a pre pre wow, prerequisite for the amphibious landings. We must achieve air superiority, at least in southeast England. We must also create and control a transit corridor in the English Channel for our landing craft and their escorts. When you take a closer look at the map, note how we marked two areas with A and B. You must clear the zone inside the area marked with A's of all Royal Navy ships. You must attain air superiority and put all airfields out of action in the area marked with B, Southeast England. Don't expect the enemy to go down easily here, General. Surely they must place their trust in the French resistance to disrupt our aerial operations. Guard the airfields just in case. Good luck. Alright, so we've got some new equipment. We've got some panzers, it looks like, so that's exciting. And we got a much bigger map. Every airfield in Southeast England can be disabled when a level bomber is directly above an airfield. As a result, the British flag will disappear over the targeted airfield and thus render the airfield useless to the RAF. Consider purchasing additional aircraft for this mission. So, we got tons of bombers. <clears throat> All along here, it certainly looks like. Well, maybe... Yeah, we got we got a decent enough air force. We got a tiny little naval force, which we're going to have to use to clear all of the Royal Navy ships uh, in the channel. Basically, you know, the important sector. And then B, B, all of the airfields within here have to be neutralized. That is, wow, that is a huge task. We got 25 turns to do this. 
And it's all gonna be, I think, aircraft, aircraft, and more aircraft. So we got 2,000 renown to spend. We're gonna be doing that in the next episode. So let's go ahead and call this um, Rust Off. There we go. That, that seems like a great way to describe this series. Let's give her a save. So, uh, thumbs up if you have enjoyed this first episode of Rust Off, the brief Operation Sea Lion Panzer Corps preview. Well, not preview, because we're doing the full Operation Sea Lion campaign, but a little hint of what the grand campaign is going to offer um, if I really do decide to go through with doing it, because it's quite, quite the thing to do. <laughs> To put it as generally as I can. Anyway, guys, thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.